Political leaders have gathered for a memorial service in Edinburgh to honour former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond. He had a heart attack and died while visiting Macedonia last month. He was 69. At the service, friends and peers pay tribute to his impact and legacy. For it can't be said often enough the greatness of the man and what a loss he is to our nation. And it will be repeated down through the years and for generations to come. Such has been his impact and such is his legacy. A giant of a man, the leader of our country, the leader of our movement, an inspiration. Skies, Connor Gillis has more from Edinburgh. This was the final chapter in a long goodbye for the former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond. A tight guest list of invite-only people here in Edinburgh today. 500 folk packed in to the cathedral here behind me in the centre of Scotland's capital city for this memorial service, this public moment to reflect uh, on the life of Alex Salmond. Uh, most notable among those attendees was the former Prime Minister Gordon Brown and the current SNP leader, First Minister of Scotland, uh, John Swinney. And I can tell you he did not get a warm welcome at all. Uh, he was booed by the crowds who lined the streets here in Edinburgh uh, as they shouted traitor to Scotland. Uh, as I said, this was a tight cast list of people and most notably excluded was the former First Minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon. Clearly they were close allies for a very, very long time. She was not in attendance here today. Uh, look, there were many people who were political friends, political foes of Alex Salmond over the years. Uh, chief among them was the Conservative MP, David Davis, who uh, took to the podium and delivered a reading uh, in front of the congregation here. Uh, the soundtrack to this was The Proclaimers, uh, again, a very famous Scottish band, uh, a close friend of Alex Salmond as well, uh, and we caught up with the band just after the service. I think he'd like the fact that there's a very uh, large, there's a very great disparity of people in there, and that, you know, there's a mix of people that, that are, of all political views, not all nationalists, obviously. You know, I spoke to Gordon Brown when he was leaving and stuff. There's, there's good people on all sides, but the, the point for me is that Scotland has changed to the point where the thought of going back to no presence by an independent support party is unthinkable. Alex Salmond's death came as a huge shock to those who knew him and to those who loved him uh, back in October of this year in North Macedonia uh, on a trip that he was talking about something that he had fought for his entire life, uh, the cause of Scottish independence. He was the man, let's remember, that brought this country to the brink of independence in 2014, died of a heart attack uh, during uh, that moment in North Macedonia in uh, October. Uh, the crowd here... Things have dispersed now, but I can tell you there were hundreds of people chanting the dream will never die. Those were Alex Salmond's final moments in his resignation speech uh, from the SNP leadership from the First Minister of Scotland back in 2014. Alex Salmond was buried in a private uh, funeral a number of weeks ago. Today, this was the public final farewell.